Welcome to this week's edition of Wildcat Watch. I'm Kelly Peltier. This past week, Baker Serves hosted the Oxfam Hunger Banquet to give Baker students a glimpse inside most people's reality. Wildcat Watch's Bailey Cabry has the story. Oxfam America is an organization helping to overcome poverty, hunger, and injustice. On March 23rd, Baker Serves held a banquet hoping to bring awareness to campus and inform students of these issues our nation faces. Graduate assistant Gabrielle Garrison discusses why she chose to bring this event to campus. During the banquet, students were given cards at random that decided what social class they would experience eating a meal from. Guest speakers then provided students with stories and information on this topic and how it affects the local community. President of Baker Serves, Casey Dillingham, was inspired to get involved with Oxfam on a larger level. She shares the benefits of being a part of this organization. Garrison wants students to know these issues happen right here in Baldwin City, and you can help out by donating to the local food pantry. Reporting for the Wildcat Watch, I'm Bailey Cabry. Baker ambassadors traveled around Kansas to United Methodist Churches to go to worship services and to speak with the youth. Here's Andre Willard with the story. Baker ambassadors are having a big role in the community. The ambassadors are working with other churches to make a positive impact for people. I have spoken with one of the students to discuss the life of an ambassador. I have the chapel every week and um, we from time to time will speak, from time to time will um, perform, play music, um, but a lot of the times we're just there um, to organize what's going to happen at each weekly chapel service and also plan events for students. Reverend Kevin Hopkins are excited for the students. They, they put in an application if they feel called to be one, and then we meet on Sunday nights, about every other Sunday night, for a time of devotion and time of talking about some of the things that are happening on campus and some of the specific things that Baker Ambassador plans. Um, but I, it's just, they're a good group to meet and, and kind of guide the spiritual life of campus. This is Andre Willard reporting for the Wildcat Watch. There are many different on-campus jobs for students to consider. These include some typical and not so typical options. Here's Brittany Dean with the story. There are many different jobs on campus here at Baker University. Sophomore Heidi Hayen has one of the more common jobs as an admissions assistant. I typically um, put stamps on things or I stuff envelopes or I enter people into Baker's system. So like with all of like your information, like your home address, your phone number, that kind of stuff so they can get in contact with people and get new students. Freshman Madison Dispensa has a very unique job walking and taking care of the Baker University's Lynn Murray's dogs. Usually um, I watch them like at night at nighttime when uh, President Murray and Jeff are out uh, at a basketball game or at an event. So I generally just uh, hang out with the dogs. We might go out in the backyard and just do homework and play outside or I'll take them on a walk around campus or Cassie and I will... Um, like watch a movie together or something like that. Many Baker students are constantly asking how to acquire an on-campus job, so I asked Madison and Heidi the process they went through to get theirs. Shelby Shiraldi, who was a senior last year, referred me to this job and recommended it, and so she gave me an application and then set me up with the job. I got the job because I was walking around campus and I always saw uh, Jeff and President Murray uh, walking uh, Luke and Cassie. Uh, Jeff asked me if I uh, was um, a dog sitter and I said yes and we had a conversation and one thing led to another and then I started dog sitting for him. Be social around campus and maybe you'll be walking around the President's dogs one day. This has been Brittany Deem with the Wildcat Watch. The first people new students see and meet on campus are the resident assistants. 
As the 2015-2016 school year is starting to wind down, next year is already beginning for those students who will hold the position as RAs on Baker's campus. Wildcat watches Air Deja Walker with more on this story. I like to be an RA, but along applying for the huge responsibility, one of the newest RAs, Deja Moreland, explains why she wanted to be an RA. I decided to become an RA after being um, offered the opportunity by our area coordinator, Michael Stucker. Um, I thought it would be an opportunity for me to not only get involved in things, more things on campus, but also to be a vital part in the process of new students coming in and getting to get into stuff in school and know new people. They need people around to support them, and I felt like I would be a great person to do that. Building relationships with the residents is a major key to being a successful RA. I think somebody needs to be confident in who they are and not you know, because if there's something bad going on, like you have to be able to step in and say something. You can't be scared or, you know, shy away from a, a situation. Um, and definitely somebody who's not just in for it for the perks. They are going to actually need to care for, you know, the people in their hall and such. Being involved is very important to make college the best it can be. The best way to do that is by being involved in resident life. What's better than meeting new people and helping them along their way? This is Air Nation Walker reporting for Wildcat Watch. Whether you went on a trip or not, spring break is the perfect time to travel with your friends or have a relaxing week at home. And Wildcat Watch's Jessica Lane found out how some students spent their spring break. Whether it's a trip to Padre or a colorful trip to Colorado, students usually use their spring break to get away from reality. For junior Barkley Edison, it was all about doing as much as he could in a seven-day period. Edison attended concerts, parties on the beach, and some needed bro time. <laughs> However, for some students, they were not able to travel, but were able to enjoy some peacefulness in Baldwin City, Kansas. So even if you don't travel for spring break, there is nothing wrong with just using it as a well-needed break from the school year. Reporting for the Wildcat Watch, I'm Jessica Lane. Tyler Bruff got a chance to talk with students here at Baker about our country's amendments. Here is Tyler's trivia. That is all for this week. Thank you for watching and until next time, this is Kelly Peltier.